are doing here. The people that are lost. Gang, you came here to see me speak. You didn't come here for anything else. This is why you came. And we got lots of free stuff. Come on, you know I got free stuff. You don't come to see Dave speak without the free stuff. Uh-oh, I gotta watch what I say now. <laughs> don't worry, I don't care. I do not care. As usual, someone who doesn't know what time it is, it's time to listen to Dave speak. Don't be scared. You can get a seat. It's going to be okay. You do want to sit down for this. I promise you. If you've never seen me speak before, it's not like anything you've ever seen before in your life. I promise you. I have no filter. They put me out here in the very back of the show for a reason. There is a reason. And they have no babysitters. If you look, there's no babysitters here, so I get to do whatever I want like I normally do. That's why I moved to Mexico. They kicked me out of the United States of America. You guys know this guy? The legend. We just lost him. I'm going to do my very best not to lose my... This is the only place you ever got to see me speak was at this show. So this means a ton to me to be here. And I'm so happy that Bill... What about the show, gang? What do you think? Pretty amazing, right? Look at this show. It's incredible. From where we came from 13 years ago, and I was one of the very first speakers at the show 13 years ago, it's come a long, long ways. This is absolutely incredible. Gang, we launched something this morning that is really going to change those of you that are fishing on your private boat. We launched our app this morning. I put a phenomenal amount of money into this app. This app is going to revolutionize private boat fishing. You will never, ever have to follow Frank Lepresti around ever again. I went through his book, I stole all his spots, and I put it on my app so you'll know exactly where the Royal Polaris is fishing because it'll be on my app. But listen, seriously, my app went live this morning. My wife's right there. She's got tons of free stuff to give you. If you go on your phone while I'm speaking and you go to the App Store, and I don't care if it's an Apple product or an Android product, you go to the app store, you guys download the app right now. If you download the app and then come to our booth and show us that you signed up, we're gonna give you free stuff. And we have so much free stuff, we don't wanna bring the free stuff back to Cabo. We just don't want it. We don't wanna pay taxes on it or any of that stuff. So make sure that you download the app right now onto your phone and then you're gonna get free stuff when this is over. Those of you that brought your children, Kelly girl. Or Justin, can you run over to the booth real quick and just grab me a box about, it looks like maybe eight or nine things for the children, please. Nothing, hey, Brian, how are you? Nothing matters more to me than the children. They're the most important aspect in this whole thing because we already own the disease. As adults, we already own this fishing disease, but we have to turn the young people onto it. They're the most important people. The very, very, very most important person in this whole building, though, is that little baby right there. That's my granddaughter. That's pretty darn important. And she's hanging out with my little baby sister. <laughs> my sister loves it when I call her that. That's Donna, Han or Donna Kalis. She runs Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Woman of the Year. She's a spectacular young lady. She is awesome, and she's brought all the stuff for me to give to the children today. And I got free stuff for both, both of you. In just a second, it's going to be over here on the stage, and I'm going to bring you up here. They want me to talk about fishing and everything fishing. I try to do, but if you remember the 70s, you guys read about stuff that people were doing in the 70s? I did it. Every single thing that you read about. So this young man right here is here for one reason to bring me back, because I'm going to get lost up here, and I'm going to forget what I'm talking about. And his whole job, the whole reason why he's here, is to keep me on track, because I look, and he has the clearest eyes out of all of you. So I know he's going to kind of bring me back, because I'm going to get lost. I will. I've seen me do this many, many times. How many people here are on my website? Look, why are you not on my website? Do you like to eat your boogers? Because if you're not on my website, you're probably spending most of the day looking for a large sport boat. 
that you can follow because you went out on your boat and you have no plan. Gang, even me fishing for a living for 48 years, I never leave the dock without a plan. I call five or six of my buddies. I found out what the water looks like in this area, what the water looks like in that area, what he caught, what she caught, what they caught. I try to put together the very best plan I can before I ever leave the dock. Most of you that aren't on my website, you know what your plan is? You stand up on the chair on your boat and you look for the sport boats. Yeah, you do. And your buddy that's sitting next to you as you're driving out towards them, they go, hey, Frank, there's five boats stopped over there. Should we go over there? Gang, the other day I stopped to go potty. And eight boats stopped to watch me go potty. It's the craziest thing i ever seen. Gang, when it's your day to go fishing, what are you supposed to do? Fish! And you know what else? I want those two young people up here right now. It's super important. Nothing matters more but my grandbaby. Come here. These are for you guys, okay? There's some cool stuff in the bag here. And then that young lady holding the baby, she's the one that got it for you. So thank you very much for being here at the show, okay? And I promise. Listen, if I say a bad word, any bad word, you get to come up and get more free stuff, okay? My deal. I promise you, okay? So listen carefully to me, okay? Oh, one more thing we got to tell them because this is important because their teachers are telling them totally different. And remember, I know way more than the teachers. It's okay to kill fish. It is. It's okay to kill fish, take them home and eat them. You're not a criminal, no matter what your teacher says, okay? All right? Is that cool? All right, go enjoy your free stuff. Any more children? No, you're not a child. What's my website called? Your Saltwater Guide. Who is not a member? You're a booger eater. I'm sorry. Gang, it's so easy. It's $9.99 a month. We have an app now that's live. Download the app. Sign in. You're going to get free stuff. My beautiful wife's going to give you lots of free stuff. That little blonde girl right there. But we're going to go back to what we were talking about again. Oh, didn't take long to offend people. I always do. I, uh, there's not a doubt in my mind. I will offend you if you're, I will hurt your feelings. I promise you. I've seen me do it many times. But what we were talking about a minute ago was plan. You got to have a plan when you go out fishing, right? Any of you that are members of my website, you ever use the game plans? They work pretty good, huh? What do you not see when you get there? Boats, because we don't fish for boats. What are we fishing for when we go fishing? Fish. What a unique concept. But most people spend their whole day going from groups of boats to groups of boats to groups of boats. Now, Frank Nesty, he saw that 40 years ago. And so what he did was he started fishing as far down into Mexico as he could go so you couldn't follow him. He didn't want to go there. He wanted to stay here and fish in Southern California, but you guys wouldn't leave him alone. You're like, oh, that's the biggest boat out here. He has to be. I'm going to park right on top of him. You drive around their sport boats all day, right? You drive around them. What happens when you're on the sport boat? They're yelling at you, and they're throwing stuff at you, and they're screaming at you. Why don't you, when you get to go out fishing, why don't you go fish for fish and stop fishing for boats? It'll never, ever work out. We talk about it all the time on our show, right? When you see a group of boats and you go pull over there, what happens? You may get to watch one of those boats catch fish. The rest of you are all hanging out. Why are you all there? Because you don't have a plan. When you go fishing, you have to have a plan. You have to have some type of an idea of where you're going. But what will happen is you in the black shirt and you got the guy in the gray shirt with you on your boat and you're going out and you listen to my game plan on Thursday. I gave you a really good plan, but you're going out, and all of a sudden you see the young lady in the red uh, vest, and she stopped. But you guys are going somewhere, but you already know if you follow Dave's plan, you're going to catch fish. But the guy in the gray shirt says to you, he says, hey, what do you think? She stopped right there, and it looks like she might be fishing. Should we go check them out? And you're like, yeah, let's go check them out. So you go over there, and what is she doing? She had to stop the boat because she had to go potty. 
and now you're stopped and you're watching her go potty and you're both like, stop doing that, gang. I'm serious. If you start to fish for fish, it's going to be the most incredible thing you've ever seen. But you got to get this mentality out of your head that when you see boats, if you see that, or no, this is better. When you see that group of boats parked like that, that just means one guy had a plan and he's catching fish and all the other boats around him, they're watching him catch fish. That's re that is crazy because have you guys ever seen my YouTube channel? If you want to watch people catch fish, just go to my YouTube channel. You'll save a phenomenal amount of money on fuel and bait and you can watch me catch fish all day. I promise, okay? But look at what, something we have to talk about now that we got a lot of people in here, CCA. I see some in the bags. This is important, gang. 30 by 30 is coming down the pipe right now, and it is, it is super scary because this, is, this will be it. One more time, they want to take some more from us. They already got the MLPs a few years ago. Now they want to get another 16%, right? I got to make sure I hit my numbers right because the industry gets mad at me if I don't speak truth. So I had a meeting with Wayne yesterday and I think I got the numbers, but my sister's here to make sure I don't say the wrong things. So they're going to get 16 more percent of the ocean from us. That's going to be gnarly. Remember, they just took the rockfish from us. And they told you, here's what they told you. And I tried to, remember, I was jumping up and down on the show every day telling you this isn't going to, they said, we're going to take your rockfish and you can't have them until the end of March instead of having them on the first. But then when we give them back to you, you're going to get to go fish in 600 to 900 feet of water. How cool is that? And people were like, I've never fished that deep before. This is going to be so much fun. No, it's not. It's going to suck. It's going to suck, gang. Frank, do you know any spots in 900 feet of water where we can catch fish on a private boat? I don't. Okay. And then they didn't show you the end. We're on September 16th. They're going to take it all back again. And they're going to rewrite everything. And I said, gang, we got to pay attention. We all got to get involved with CCA because that's the only voice we have at the table. We don't have another voice. They don't want to listen to me. They're scared. They don't want to listen to Captain Dave because I, I don't have a filter and I don't go in there and listen. I just get in there and cause a bunch of just, but CCA and Wayne, he's very calm. He's not Dave Hansen. He can sit at the table and not go bananas when they tell you a bunch of baloney that's not true. This guy was the very, very best at it. There was, I didn't get any of him. I didn't get that. I didn't get that guy. That guy knew about what was happening before we knew about what was happening. That guy knew about what was happening before they knew what they were about to do. He had all the answers before they got there. It was pretty incredible to watch. It was absolutely amazing. We don't have him anymore. We have my sister standing in the gap. We have Mr. Lepresti standing in the gap. We have Wayne Cattell standing in the gap. But it takes all of us. Like I said on my show when this rockfish thing was going, we cannot sit on the sidelines anymore and suck our thumb, gang. We can't. We can't wait for Elliot to fix it for us because there won't be anything left to fix. If you saw the election a couple years ago, it was won by social media. Okay, I have a massive social media presence. I get about 2 million views every three days. I have a huge presence. I have 300,000 followers. My show every day, we get lots and lots of views. All I'm trying to do is tell you we got to be involved. This We cannot wait this time. We cannot wait. Will it help? I hope so. But you know what won't help? Standing around waiting for someone else to do it. You got to get involved. CCA is here. If you haven't signed up with them yet, you need to be involved. I just, I'm not going to talk politics the whole time I'm up here because I don't want to be pulled off the stage. But CCA is super important to all of us especially those of us that have bought boats or that own charter boats or do anything out on the water. This is important. But those of you that only like the freshwater fish, this time they're coming for you too. This time they're coming for the Mammoth Lakes. This time they're coming for the lakes and the streams. They're coming. If you don't think they are, you need to read this 30 by 30 thing because they, they already got a bunch of our water, the ocean. They only want 16% more. That's all just 16% more. They want 30% of the fresh water.
That's huge. That's a giant devastating thing, gang, and this thing's coming down the pipe. Louie, I'm sorry I didn't answer your phone, but I was up here kind of busy, okay? But thanks for calling me in the middle of my seminar. That was rad. So right there, that guy in the red shirt. I only text you the schedule like five times, so I understand. I'm old too. All right, what was I talking about? Oh, sea lions. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> my favorite animal on the planet. Gosh, they're awesome. They are so cute. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. And if it wasn't for them, we would be catching so many fish. So thank gosh for those guys, right? Sea lion, beautiful animal, spectacular. Right. Well, they don't want to address the real problems like urban runoff or the California sea lion or all that stuff. They don't want to address any of that stuff. So we can't talk about sea lions anywhere. That's the most sacred animal on the planet Earth. That animal has more rights than my granddaughter, which is pretty sad. <clears throat> but back to now what we were talking about, the game plan. You got to have a plan when you go out fishing, right? Super important. But what else do you need? Spots. You got to have some spots. You got to have, you got to know where to go. This is a giant lake out here. This lake is humongous. If you don't know where to go, you get a game plan from me and I tell you, you got to go to White Rock at San Clemente Island. You got to anchor up at White Rock and that's how you're going to catch fish. And you're like, well, I got the game plan, but I don't even know what this White Rock thing is. He's talking, it's a rock out at San Clemente Island and it's white. I know. But you got to know where to anchor, how to anchor, what to do when you get there and conditions. Conditions are a huge thing in fishing. Conditions are a massive thing and I hear you hear about it all the time and those of you that ride on sport boats, I know you've heard this from many of the captains on the PA. They come to the spot, they wheel around a couple times and then they drive away and I hear you go, God, I just wanted to fish today. Why is this guy ever going to stop? No, you didn't. They didn't just want to fish, Frank. You know what they wanted to do? They wanted to catch. I used to turn the PA up a little bit higher so I could hear you guys down there on the deck. Back then I had really long hair, and braided beard, and I would come down on the deck and i go, really, you just want to fish, huh? I thought you wanted to catch. We're looking for the ones that want to bite. It's about conditions. We need current. We need water clarity. We need bait. We need all these things to make the fish bite. That's all the stuff you're going to learn over at your saltwater guide. You're just not going to, let's just say this is the kelp bed. It, see, I don't know, free. First, and San Diego's down here, LA's up here. All the kelp fronds are setting straight up. They're not laying let down, they're not laying up. That's no current, that's no conditions, that's no bueno. We got, but how would we know if we don't come in on the sport boat and just do a quick tour of the kelp and take a look and we're looking the whole time and we're looking to see if the kelp's lay in one direction or the other. If it's laying, all the kelp grows up from the bottom and all the leaves are pointed at San Diego. Game on. Now we are in. We're going to park there because we know there's current. Anybody ever fished a stream or a river? The easiest place to fish the stream out of the river is where there's no movement, right? But what's there? Nothing. They're out in that current. They're out in the river where it's moving. Why? Because they know that it's going to wash food across. So, the same thing with the kelp. See, I pissed another guy off. I'm sorry. Not really. I don't even care. But <laughs> that current is so important because all the big fish in the kelp are going to come right up. The current's going from L.A. to San Diego. That's downhill current. That's downtown for us. That means we got a really good chance of catching fish. We're going to anchor up where my wife and Justin and my grandbaby are on the very upper outside edge of the kelp. The, the current's flowing that way. The big giant fish, who might have been where you are with the AT hat on, as soon as that current flicked on, he's coming right up to the very front corner. You know why? Because he knows that food's going to wash by. So he's going to come up there. All the little fish are coming over here because they don't want to die. They don't want to get eaten. So the big fish move to the front. The little fish move to the back. When the current stops, the little fish move back out to the front. Big fish come back in here because you know why? The big fish really don't even know they're big fish. They just think they're fish, right? And the smartest fish in the ocean is dumber than the smartest mouse. I don't care what the guy at the tackle store told you, okay? Remember that, too. 
Remember, when you're talking to the guy at the tackle store, look at him really close and look at his eyes and find out how long he's been working there before you take advice from him. Sorry. Didn't mean to say it, but it's true. But the current is super important to, to tell us that the fish are going to bite or not. That's why when the captain comes in and drives around and he doesn't see any condition, which would be current, he's like, we're out of here. We're going to go look. And now you can drive from San Onofre down the coast to a place called Patterson's, which is like four miles south of San Onofre. And you can get there and there'll be current. It doesn't make any sense, I know. But it's current. Current is not tied and tide is not current. They're totally different things. They're almost impossible to predict. The computers, the satellites, everything's trying to figure out how to better predict the current, but there really isn't any way. Your tide chart, that's not gonna tell you current. Windy.com, where you see all those arrows, all that's doing is showing you the wind. It's not showing you the current. The only way to know if there's current is to actually go there. Throw your anchor over the side if there's no kelp, and then see if the lines are running off the back of the boat. That will tell you there's current. But here's something really funny about this current thing. We're at San Onofre, and we are just wailing on the sea bass in Yellowtail. And it's really good. We're anchored up on the outside corner of San Onofre, 57 feet of water. We're anchored there, and it's wide open. And you called all your friends, and you told them, man, we got a million Yellowtail there. Sea bass were biting. We limited the boat. It was almost sinking. You got to come out with us tomorrow. So you get on your boat, you're all excited, you get to the Dana Point bait barge, you get your bait, you drive all the way to San Onofre, you pull up to the spot that you were at yesterday, and there's no current. Or, here's some, if there's no current, nothing happens. Or, the current's going uphill. Now all the kelp's laying pointed towards LA. Guess what? That spot that you anchored at, that's not gonna work anymore. Now come over here and anchor up over here. Most of the time though, the fish, I don't know why, and I'm sure Frank knows better than I do, but I don't know why they don't like so much of the uphill current like they like the downhill. I think it's more because it, they grew up with downhill and the prevailing current, and it lets them know that the food's gonna wash by. But if the current is going uphill, you have to go to the other side of the kelp bed. You have to go over here, anchor up over, because that big giant fish that was over there when the current was going that way, now he's over here waiting for your bait. Remember, after this seminar, every single fish in that ocean out there wants to get in that white bag. They do. They want to get in it so bad. The only reason that they were even put on the planet Earth was for us to catch. Now you need to learn how to get them in the white bag. And that's what I'm trying to help everybody, learn how to get them in the white bag and quit following sport boats. Those fish, as long as they're legal, it's okay to take them home and eat them. It is. It's okay. You're not a criminal. Don't, don't, you're not. I promise. It's okay. But you got to learn how to read the conditions, gang. And so just because you caught fish at that yesterday, when you get there, you got to go, okay, what's different? We're not getting bit. Well, the back of your boat's pointed directly away from the kelp. It's pointed out towards those trees. You got to reset your anchor, come over to this side of the kelp and drop your anchor and then start the whole thing again and start the whole mystery of the current. The current is such an important factor in this fishing thing. And then water clarity, water temperature, those do matter. But I don't care if the water's crystal clear blue and it's 70 degrees or 71 degrees. If there's no current, there'll be no bite. They're not going to bite, all right? So you got to understand how do we figure that out. You become a member of your saltwater guide. Now, all this stuff that I'm doing right here, I have videos about all of it, and I explain it all to you. I don't know the technical jargon of the current or the water. Or I know H2O. I learned that in school when I, was, when I used to go to school. That was a long time ago. But I don't have any of that molecular stuff. I'm not going to bore you with details. You watch my show live every day. That's how I talk. That's the only, I don't have, I don't have any of that. I don't know the composite makeup of the fishing pole is. I don't know any of that. I don't know how many pounds of drag pressure the reel can handle. I know that if I wrap my hand around it and I pull on the line and it comes off the reel, I know the drag set perfect. 
If I wrap my hand around and I can't pull any line, I got to loosen the drag. If I wrap my hand around and I feel no tension, I know that the drag's not tight enough. That's as far as the jumbo super star. I have people come up to me all the time and go, hey, what's the drag pressure of that reel? I go, I don't know. It just killed 25 fish. I have no idea what the drag pressure is, but it works. It works. I mean, guys, you overthink this stuff way too much. It's not that important. The stuff that's important is knowing where to go, knowing the spots, having a plan, and sticking to the plan. And don't let other boats get in the way of your plan. Here's another. Do I got time? What time is it? What time? Oh, my gosh. I got tons of time. Watch this. Okay. All right. The radio, the VHF radio, okay? How many of you have your VHF radio on while you're out there fishing and you're listening to the VHF radio? Frank, am I doing okay? Okay, Frank's leaving. Now we can get real. <laughs> Gang, the VHF radio is not your friend. It's not. Anybody here ever been in a wide open bite, catching millions of fish every time? I know you have, RJ, because I was there. But any of you ever caught a bunch of fish on your boat? No? Oh, wow. Couple? Was the only thing you thought about is I got to get to the radio and tell everybody? You're kidding. Why are you listening to the radio? No, no, no. Why do you listen to the VHF radio? Somebody help me. You going to come save somebody? Don't save me. Leave that to the United States Coast Guard, please. They're trained in saving. I do not want you showing up with that red vest trying to save me. Gang, turn the VHF radio off. It's not your friend. No one's going to get on there and tell you to come over here and help me kill a bunch of fish. They're just not going to do that. It's not going to happen. Let me help you out. We're going to play a little game. and It's going to piss some of you off. This will piss you off. I know it. I've seen me do this before. I'll you're leaving in the morning. You have the greatest game plan in the world. You got bait at the Dana Point bait barge. You're listening to Dave on his website, and you're going out. You know the Dorado are biting just inside of the 209 a little bit. Dave told you. Dave gave you the numbers. You're leaving. You're Dana Point Harbor. You pulled up at the bait barge at 5 in the morning, not 6. Why don't we go to the bait barge at 6? Because that's when everybody goes. Oh, I got one for you. What is your knife? Sharper than mine. Yeah, I know. And you can fillet fish way better than me. And you can tie a boat up way better than me. You're right. But we had to touch on that, Donna, because so many people want to let me know that every single day. If I fillet a fish, they're knife sharper. They've done it way longer, way better, way faster. I'm like, well, make a video. I won't watch it, but make one. What was I talking about? Oh, I'm, I'm going to leave here around 7. Okay. <laughs> no, you leave at 5 in the morning when you go fishing because why? Everyone else leaves at 6 and all the sport boats. My sister's schedule has all the boats leaving Dana Point at 6 a.m. Why do you want to get in that line in the morning? That's ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. You leave at 5 or 4.30, no line. Or wait, I can't get up that early. Leave at 7. Guess what? Line's all gone. Being at the bait dock at 6 o'clock in the morning is, you might as well just eat a booger. Right? You might as well pick a big booger and just start eating it because you are a booger eater if you show up at the bait barge from today forward at 6 o'clock in the morning. I told you I was going to piss some of you off, and I'm doing a great job, right? Listen, back to the radio. So you listened to everything I said. You followed my game plan. You paid your $9.99. You bought the... You bought the bundles, so you got the game plan. You know where to go. You want to go fill your boat up with Dorado. You're leaving the harbor, and you're going 207 degrees because that's where I told you to go on my thing. And you're driving out of the harbor, and you got your radio on. What channels do you guys listen to? There's only two. You listen to 72 or you listen to 65, period. That's it. Or some of you that are going to save the planet, you listen to 16. <laughs> Gang, here's what you hear on the radio on channel 72 in the morning as you're leaving the harbor. Hey, Brian, you got me? You picking me up, Brian? Yeah, go ahead. God, you got to get out here, man. We're out here on the 181, and it is as good as it could possibly be. It's wide open. You got to get out here. 
Oh, okay, I'm on my way. Brian. Yeah, go ahead. It's me again. Brian, you got to get here. The 181, it's full speed. I'm still watching the boat in front of me. He's still going the same way I'm going. And I'm like, he must not be on 72. I go to 65. Brian, you pick me up? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, you got to get out here. They're biting wide open on the 181. It's full speed here. Let me give you the numbers. And I give a bunch of numbers. And then I look and that boat starts to peel off and off it's going. It's going. It was going right where I was going, but I was able to drive that boat from my boat with the radio. And I'd done, I've done that more times than you've gone to the bathroom in your life. It works flawless. Gang, I, you've done it all. Those of you that are laughing, you did it. I used to give out the numbers for the dump, the Orange County dump, and people would go all day. We'd be out there on the, we'd be out there on the 209, and I'd send out the numbers for the dump, wide open yellowfin. Five boats would take off, run into the dump. It's absolutely crazy, gang. The radio's not your friend. Listen, you had the great Frank Lepresti sitting here for a minute. They don't talk on the VHF radio. There's my buddy Danny Jackson right there. He made me famous, that guy right there. We made videos, spot videos, 38 year, or 35 years ago. Right there, Danny Jackson. Woo, thanks for coming, Danny. I've been doing this for a very long time is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? 35 years ago, we made those spot videos, VHS tape. You know what those are? VHS tape, we made, me and Danny, we made those. The same spots that you get on my website, your saltwater guide, they're still full of fish. Even though Elliot and I tried to get every one of them off of those spots, they're still there. It's pissing me off. That's why I built the website. So you can all help me. I'm trying to get the last fish. I'm working so hard on it every single day, but I need your help. If you follow my game plan and you quit eating your boogers and you follow it to the T and you listen to what I say, it works. Does anybody here ever follow my plan? Do you, have you guys ever caught anything? Does it work? It works, gang. These, I have 3,700 members on my website. I get somewhere between 9 and 12 million views a month on social media. If my stuff didn't work, you would be able to read about it. I promise you, gang. If you're thinking, well, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, it's $9. I'm going to have to ask my wife or my husband. Listen, if you have to ask permission to spend nine bucks, fishing ain't your problem. Fishing is not your problem, gang. I couldn't even imagine Kelly asking me if it's okay to spend $10,000 today. <laughs> she ain't spending nine bucks, I promise. Okay, but listen, gang. What we're talking about is every kind of fish. Every kind of fish is condition-based. Every kind of fish is weather-based. And what are more conditions? Your boat is a condition. What's the number one thing I talk about when any of you ever call me? Your bait tank. Nothing matters more to me than your bait tank. Now, don't want that. I don't want it. You can give it to me for free. I'll throw it in the trash. No bait tank. I need a bait tank. I need the biggest bait tank you could possibly put on the boat. I have to have it. You know why? And I never really understood that. I knew I, knew I needed bait. But you know what having a lot of bait does? It makes it easy. It makes it so easy to catch fish. Because all the fish that are swimming around in the ocean, you know what they want to do? They want to eat. And if you have their food on your boat and you give them a little bit at a time and then the next piece of food you throw out there has a hook in it, then he gets to get in the white box that he wanted to get in. That fish wants to get in the white box, remember? But you got to help him. How can I help that fish get in the white box? Listen to Captain Dave. Go to your saltwater guide. Quit eating your boogers and be a member of my website. Gang. I'm not asking you to pay for my house on your membership, am I? No. It's the most value you can possibly get, gang, with the price of fuel and everything. Why do you not want to gather as much info as you possibly can? Sergio, get your hands off that young lady. Sergio, you're not even supposed to be around people. That guy, there's a restraint. Call somebody. There's a restraining order on him. He's not supposed to be. And there's children here, too. Jeez.
I joke, but it's true. There he goes. See, he's getting out of here. You heard. You're going to call. But gang, all I'm trying to do is pass off the information that I gained. This is my pops right here, okay? He fished for a living in Southern California since 1942. All right? That's when he started his career. Now, I know some of you out here have been doing it way longer than my father, and you probably did it way better than he did. I didn't start doing it for a living until 1970. Before. So I haven't been long either. So you probably have way better information out there than me. But here's what I do. I get nice sweatshirt, by the way. That thing's rad. Look at that. I know that guy. Gang, if you just joined us, you have a telephone in your pocket. If you can download the app right now, it's free. It's not going to cost you anything. The app's called Your Saltwater Guide. It went live this morning at the show. You need to download the app. You need it. It's free. Don't be scared. And then see that beautiful little blonde girl over there? She's going to give you free stuff when this is over. If you come behind this wall to my booth, I have so much free stuff from all the sponsors that actually think I know what I'm talking about that we're going to give you free stuff for downloading the app. Your Saltwater Guide is the app, gang. You're all going to be members eventually. Kelly wants you to wait till after the show because the show specials go away. And she has already stuff picked out at Sephora. So don't sign up today. I want you to sign up today so you can save money. Because believe me, the app isn't free. If you've ever built an app, has anybody here ever built an app? They are not free. They're, you don't get to build an app free. It's not free. And it costs more money than this fisherman ever thought he would ever have in his pocket. Way more. I could have bought a really nice car to build an app. And don't believe me, go look it up. That's how committed I am to making sure that this thing is as easy because so many of my members said, Dave, do you have this as an app? I'm like, no, I don't, I'm a dumb fisherman. Come on. I wear, I don't even, I don't even own a pair of shoes. How can I afford an app? But my buddy Elliot said, we got to get an app for your, at least for the people that are already members. Because the app's going to, if the app is our new code group, gang, those of you, when you go on the app, Right in the very bottom of the app, right on the bottom says community. The community that I'm building is better than any community ever done for fishermen anywhere. My community, you're protected. You can go on my community and ask any question you want. You're not going to get a bunch of booger eaters sitting in their underwear in their mom's basement telling you you're an idiot because you don't know what. You can ask us any question you want. The members are all involved. We're all part of this. All the members are part of the website. All the members are here to help each other. This community is spectacular. We don't allow any negative shared on the website. It's not like those other web. We won't mention them, but you know what it's like to post on some of the ones with the B and the D in them and stuff like that. It's gnarly because you get, that, you get beat up really, really bad. On my, you won't have any of that. The community is really cool too because if you download the app and you have it on your phone, and let's just say, you're fishing the backside of Catalina and you posted your fish report because that's what we do on the community. We post the fish report and Brian's back there and he goes, oh my gosh, they're catching fish at Little Harbor. It just came up on the phone, on the app. How rad is that? Brian goes, I'm going to go over there too. I'm a member. I got my shirt on. You got your shirt on. You're like, oh, psh, we're going to share this spot because it's one of Dave's guys. But we're all in it together. We're all your saltwater guide. I built this website for all of us so we could all be successful. Find somebody else in the industry that fish for a living their whole life that's willing to share every single thing with you. And then get on their website. Oh, wait a minute. No one has one. I share everything in every spot and everything. And Danny Jackson and I made these videos a long, long time ago for you. And I'm telling you, it's real. It's honest, it's real, it's, it's real, right, Bob? It's real, it's real, okay? So back to what we were talking about, bluefin. Anybody here want to catch a bluefin? On my website, I cover everything you need to be successful to catch a bluefin. I know how to fly the kite. I know how to kill big, giant bluefin on the dead flying fish and the rubber flying fish. But not only do I know how to do it, but I laid it all out for you in a nine-part series that shows you exactly from setting up the kite to killing the fish at the end. I have it all covered. If you follow the simple 
way that I lay it out there, it makes killing giant bluefin super easy. But most of you want to go figure it out on, I'm going to figure it out on my own. Oh, I do. The guy on, the, on Instagram told me I should be figuring this out on my own. So you go out and you figure it out on your own. And what do you get? Nothing. Are you lost? The fish of lifetime. Dave, I fought a fish for nine hours and it got away. The biggest one, I, the biggest one we ever caught took us 17 minutes. 312 pounds. Why? Because we kill them with the boat. I was absent that day where you, they said, oh, we got to let the fish hurt us. We got to go to work. Can't move. Can't walk. My back. I can't. I hate bluefin. I think they all should die. I really, really do because we spent many, many nights and many, many days chasing those things and never catching them. So when we use the rubber flying fish or the dead flying fish, we're using 200 pound braided line. We're using 400 pound fluorocarbon. And when the fish bites it, I drive the boat forward and we kill him with the boat. It's magical. Justin, are you here? Yeah, Justin, he did it last year a bunch of times. How many fish did you lose? None. He didn't lose any. Well, he can't tell you how many he caught, but he caught a lot. And you guys saw his videos and we were posting them on our, on our social media. That's Justin Botrell from Bowline Sport Fishing. He caught a lot last year with the drive the boat forward method. You drive the boat forward a little bit, you stop, you wind in the slack, then you drive the boat forward a little bit, stop, wind in the slack. We never take the rod out of the rod holder. I'm not that guy. People go, oh, there's not much sport in that. Ho, ho, ho. Nobody really cares. They don't want to hear your story, how you fought it for nine hours. Here's what you want. You want to see the picture of me holding it up by the tail, then you're on to the next bright and shiny object. Nobody wants to hear that story. So let's kill them as fast as we can, as many as we can. My father made sure that we were allowed to catch two. Take two every day per person. So you better go out there and get two every time you go. Because he wanted to make sure you got two. He's the reason why you get two. Because in 2014, this is how many you were allowed. Look it up. I'm not making this up. My father stood in the gap, went to everywhere to make sure that he could get the bluefin tuna limit to two. Can you imagine if we didn't get the limit changed from zero? There would be no sport fishing industry, gang. The bluefin tuna has been the number one thing that's driven the sport fishing industry <coughs> for the last seven years. You all know that. You all want to catch a bluefin. Everybody wants a 200-pound bluefin. You know what I want? You know what Kelly wants? We want to go catch calico bass anchored up at San Onofre in the middle of the kelp because it's fun and you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on fuel every day. But if you want to catch a bluefin, it's all available on my website. Is all I'm trying to say is I cover everything from catching a halibut to catching a 300 pound bluefin. It's all covered on the website. Whatever gamut you want to be involved in, we cover it all. We do it better than 90% of the people on the planet. Yeah, I just didn't get in the business in 20, 2015 when the bluefin started to bite. No, 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 no. I got in the business in 1974, but my father's been in the business since 1947. The only thing we know how to do is make you smile. My dad taught me that. It's all about making you smile. Every single fish matters, and every single person on the boat matters. And it's all about making sure that you have the best time you can have when you're out on the water. That's why I built the website. I got so tired of hearing people go, oh my God, there's no fish out there. This fish is so And then they sell their boat. And why didn't, because they didn't have any knowledge. They didn't know where to go. I started working with a company 28, 29 years ago called 976 Tuna. And I helped Phil Freeman build that thing. And informational based websites are phenomenal if they have what? information. You know who has all the information? Your saltwater guide. Listen, I helped build that 976. Then Phil <clears throat> left that company and then I went to work with Jason and Ollie and we built another company called Fish Dope. Remember that? Remember whose information that was? 99.9% .9 of the time, who'd you see? Every time. Dave Hansen. I'm on the water every single day. Plus, I have 3,700 members now that are on the water every day. We're reporting every day. We're out there. We're covering everywhere from the Channel Islands to the Coronado Islands. We got it all covered. Somebody, one of our members will be somewhere, and they'll give their report on the community page. 
<clears throat> what I did was I helped all these people build all these informational-based websites, and five years ago, I was like, you know what? Also, we made those videos with Danny Jackson 35 years ago when I was young and dumb, and I had just gotten sober, and I didn't know how the big whole world worked. And they said, Dave, if you come out and you make these videos with us, we'll give you 300 or no, we'll give you three $100 bills and you can make a video and show us all your spots. And I was like, 300 whole dollars? Back then I was making $60 a day. I was like, yeah, you can have all my spots at San Clemente Island. I'm gonna get 300 whole dollars. And then they went on to sell hundreds of thousands of videos, but I got 300 bucks. That was cool. Then I helped 976 and they signed up many, many members and I got to work more I got to go out with you more on your boat, which was fun. Don't get me wrong. I loved going with you, but it allowed me to work more. It did. And I appreciate that because I love working and I love fishing and I love making you smile. But I was like, oh, I want to do something for Dave. I want to do something for Dave and Kelly. I want to do something for Dave, Kelly, and our granddaughter. So I built this website, Your Saltwater Guide. I took all my information that I'd been given to those other companies for all these years, and I brought it over to this one. Okay, this is where you get the real information, gang. This is where you get to, anybody ever called me on the phone? What do I do that you don't, that blows your mind? I answer the dang phone and I, you get to talk to me. Find another website in here, any one of them, where you can call the owner and talk to him. Does anybody else have that? I'll sign up for it right now. Yeah, I, I, do I, if I don't answer the phone, why? Because you called me and I was talking to Bob. As soon as I hung up from Bob, I called you. Kelly loves that. She absolutely loves it. The best time when you call is when Kelly and I are having dinner. That is her favorite time. She loves that because what do I do? I talk to you. Because you're going fishing and what do I love to do? I love to kill fish. I love to kill fish. If it's legal. And that's why we moved to Mexico because it's legal to kill lots of them. <laughs> But listen, gang, I promise you, I will never let you down. If you decide that you want to be a member of my website, Elliot and I have built, and Kelly Girl, we've built the most phenomenal website for you. That's my man right there, Elliot. None of this would be possible without Elliot. He's my social media director. He's the guy that's taken me to the, the moon. A year ago at this time, we were at this show, I had 2.5 thousand followers. Right now I have 330-something thousand followers right now. They just found me on YouTube. I'm getting 7,000 new subscribers a month on YouTube right now. It's absolutely incredible, but you know what? None of it's possible without Elliot because I don't know the algorithm or the hashtag or any of that stuff. I just know how to kill stuff, and I'm pretty darn good at it. And if you follow my simple game plan, you will be too, gang. I will never let you down. If you are a member of the website, you get to call me. I will help you to the point. And if you do what I say, you will be successful. If you don't, go try to figure it out on your own. Fuel's free, I heard. So go out there and figure it out on your own. Fuel's free right now. Gang, I got to talk real quick. Did we got time? What time is it? Okay, because I got to cover, you know, of my sponsors. Okay, this is a Kuma. This is their new reels. This is such a spectacular reel because they've taken this design that is unbelievable and they put the lever drag in there and so many of you want the lever drag and then it's two speed and this Alejos is an absolute fish killing machine right here. This thing holds so much 80 pound braided line, it's incredible. But if you haven't seen these, you can swing by the Akuma booth and check out the brand new Alejos series reels and they have every single size that you can imagine from the five up to the 30s. These things are incredible fish killing reels. You got to swing by their booth. They're over there in the farthest hall out, but they got all the new stuff over there. And then a lot of people had a lot of problems this year casting, especially when that Dorado was around because we're a West Coast fishery and we love to use conventional reels. But they came out with these, these spinning reels are almost bulletproof. These things, you, they have such a phenomenal gear ratio and the new drag system in these spinning reels is absolutely incredible. You wanna go over to the Akuma booth and check these out. This thing is, I like the color, the color is incredible. 
But you want to go check these out. They're up here on the stage. You want to swing by Akuma. It's super important to go over there and look. Look, there's a million companies selling rods and reels. There is. The really cool thing about Akuma, if you look at any of my videos, this is what I use all the time. And there's never a time where I have 30 or 40 dead fish laying by my feet right here. And I think, man, if my reel only would have cost $1,000, I probably would have caught more. Never. The, the number one thing about Akuma is it's not your grandma's Akuma. It's not your grandpa's Akuma. This, this company is brand new, brand cutting edge. The equipment that they put out now is nothing like you've ever seen before. It's top of the line, as good as it gets. Their series of reels are incredible. And the really cool part about it is I can buy one. You don't have to be the president of the company to go get a reel that'll catch a fish. The other reels that cost us a million dollars do the same thing that the reel that costs $300 does. They do. Let me help you out real quick before we wrap this up. The person that spends the most money fishing does never going to catch the most fish. So calm down. Quit spending money. If you're going to do anything, get on my website, your saltwater guide, and quit sucking at fishing because you don't have to anymore. You do not have to suck at fishing unless you're into that. Like those two guys right there, they love to suck. But most of my members hate sucking, okay? Gang, I'm going to be right on the other side of this wall. We're going to give you away free stuff. If you were able to download that app and sign up, there's plenty of free stuff on there. I'm going to wrap this thing up because I want to keep some of the voice. I got a few more of these to do. Did I do okay, Elliot? All right. Everybody have a good time. Is this a good start? Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did all right?